Hey guys, in today's video I want to show you how to disable Windows Defender properly for both Windows 11 and Windows 10. So I wanted to make this video because Windows has made it a lot harder to disable Defender and they also added some new services that are pretty annoying to disable. So I'll be showing you how to get rid of them today. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and then we'll be posting more videos like this. But yeah, so the first thing we're going to do is delete Windows Defender's main service. To do this, we're going to need IOBit Unlocker. To get this, you could join my Discord server which will be linked in the description below. And head over to the programs channel and then I will build unlocker should be right here. But once you do it, once you get it, what you want to do is right click it and click run as administrator. Once you open that, what you want to go, what you want to do is click add right here. Then click local disk C drive. Then program files. And then Windows Defender. And then you want to scroll down until you see this one right here msmpengine.exe you're going to want to click ok you're going to want to click force mode and then you're going to want to click on this arrow right here and then click unlock and delete and then click ok once you do that it should say unlock and delete successfully and then you want to exit that and that's how you disable the service or delete it okay now that we've disabled the main service that windows defender relies on we're gonna have to actually disable all the processes that are related to windows defender now i can show you how to do this manually in registry but there's a lot of different keys and things that we would have to go to so i made a file that automatically does this for you to actually get the file what you want to do is join my discord server which will be linked in the description below then head over to resources and there should be a disable and enable file right here in case you want to revert but just go ahead and download the disable file right here and another thing you're going to want to do is go over to programs head over to the pins and download power run you want to make sure you get this because we can't run this file just as it is what's going to happen is we'll get a bunch of access denied and windows won't allow us to actually disable defender properly so what we're going to do is once you get power run and all of this you're gonna to wanna to click Windows K and R. You're gonna type msconfig, click OK. You wanna head over to boot, and then you wanna make sure you're on the OS that you're currently on. So for me, it would be this one. And then for boot options, you wanna check safe boot, make sure minimal is also checked, then click apply, OK, and then restart. But for the sake of the video, I can't restart because it'll just cancel my recording. So I'm gonna click exit without restart. But once you guys are in safe mode, you're going to want to open Power Run. And you're going to want to take the disabled defender.bat right here. And you're going to want to drag it on top of powerrun.exe. And then in here, you should get a screen that looks just like this. It should say disabling defender and operation completed successfully. Then it's going to say press any key to continue. You just click any key. And the file should be run successfully. So before I end this video, I just want to mention this one tool, Windows Defender Remover, that's made by Ionotbar. It's a pretty useful tool. You would have to do this towards the end of this video as well, because Windows Defender, especially real-time protection, gives you some issues downloading this. But the link of it will be in my Discord server, which will be linked in the description below. If you go over to the Programs tab, it will be right here. But to download it, all you have to do is go to Releases right here, and then download the defender remover.exe and run it as admin I recommend to do this after you've watched this video though so you don't get any problems downloading it and this is just something if you want to like completely strip defender out of your system if you found this video helpful make sure to like and subscribe as i will be posting more videos like this if you want to make any suggestions on what type of content i should make then you could join my discord server and tell me i'll always listen to what's going on in my chat and what you guys want to see but yeah see you in the next one